We are able to interview Miss Mercy Banchancel, who is a distributor of skincare. We all know that the distributor bridges the gap between upstream and downstream entities while also providing important services that aids in the distribution process. Let us find out how she started their business and what motivates them to keep the business going. So, let us know what's the interview we conducted with them. Hi everyone, I am Reina and this is my mommy and today I am going to interview her and ask some few questions about owning a business. Number one question is, describe your background briefly and tell me a little bit about yourself. By the way, I am Mercy and I am 41 years old, married and I have one daughter. Um, I've been in a business since 2014 so it's about eight years i am running my business which is a skincare line and i am handling uh, various kinds of brands thank you so my second question is when did you start your business and what inspires you to broaden your aspects of this business actually i start started my business since 2014 but during the time 2000 18 the skincare line started to uh, to trend among the people so i started uh, to pursue the skincare line during the time not to mention but i think it's a i hand i handled three kind of brand of skincare so by and by there were a plenty of brands in the market so I grabbed them the most famous brands so for now not only 10 brands but um all the famous brand I have yeah do you have that rose mark again of a soap that that's a bit trending today yeah of course I have that yeah, I might buy one <laughs> okay so my third question is how do you stay organized when juggling many projects Handling a business is a difficult process and we're kind of curious on how you stay in balance when it comes to your business. Um, handling a business is not easy, of course, because on the first year of operation, the first trimester, you have to observe what is in demand in the market and then you have to buy that stocks so that your capital will not be stagnant. Also, you should not put all the responsibilities to your employees. You should have to manage in actual to your business so that you will know what is what is the actual problems, what is the actual output of your operations daily. So you have employees. Yeah, I have a few employees. Yeah, that's great. Less stress in handling your business. Yeah, but sometimes your employees give you stress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like nobody's perfect no man. So my last question is, do you plan on expanding your business in the future? Why or why not? Yes, of course. Um, every proprietorship no man is um, planning to expand their own business. But um, there's a lot of things you have to consider it. Um, just like example your business uh, do you, you think is it's not trend now or it's not needed by the public so um, you must decide not to go for expand for it or you have to upgrade or you do a uh, research for that what's the benefits of that product um, what's the cost of that product so that um, your services or your products will be um, more sellable to the public yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for being with here with me today. 
Welcome. We're so grateful to interview you and them. a little bit of your time. So, back to you guys. Additionally, we also spoke with Ms. Rexa Minjamarte, a business owner of health and beauty items as well as shopping company. Only a business that sells beauty products carries a lot of risk and presents many difficulties. But in order to have a position in the hearts and minds of customers, business owners should offer the greatest packaging and high quality items. Let's find out how she started her firm and what inspires her to keep it going. Today, this is Raiza. Before we start, can you describe your background briefly and tell us a little bit about yourself? I am Raiza May Jamante, 38 years old, mother of two, and a businesswoman for eight years. I heard you on a business about skincare. When did you start your business and what inspired you to broaden your aspect of this business? I started business since 2014, but before I started skincare, I sell slippers and uh, actually we started here in Davao for I worked here as a call center agent before I started business. Then, upon working, I discovered that my salary is not enough to feed my family. So that's why um, we started gathering um, stocks from Baclaran with my partner. And then we deliver it here in Davao and sell it to our office mates and friends. And then after that, I discovered one bleaching company which started 2014 as well and I started as a, the main distributor of that bleaching company for Mindanao area. I also um, started also gathering some gadgets um, products from Uyabu and then sell it to my office mates and then post it in Facebook. So how did you organize when juggling with projects after hearing your story calls, um, <clears throat> about your different businesses and how you manage them. Handling a business is a difficult process and we're kind of curious on how you stay in balance when it comes to your business. Yes, super. Um, mahirap talaga pag marami yung business. Like, sa akin na ako na pin, meron akong pretty products, meron akong RTW. So, hindi ako nagpag-post masyado sa RTW. So, sa online kasi, kailangan mo may mga tao. So, yung ate ko, yung mama ni Marie, yun ang nag-help din sa akin. Siya nag-online. More on online kasi ako. Hindi ako pumukot sa stories. Wala akong ano sa stories. Online lang ako. Diyan ko minomonitor lahat ng tao ko, lahat ng business ko. Kahit yung ano, stocks ko, meron ako dito yung, ano, yung UPS na tinatawag. Diyan ko minomonitor yung kung ilan yung stocks ko pumapasok, ilan yung stock ko malabas, ilan yung income a day. Diyan so siya. you're always on track? Yes, on track siya lagi. Ilan yung income a day, ilan yung lumalabas, ilan yung pumapasok. Kasi pag may dumadating yung stocks, pinapasok, ako mismo pumapasok sa, ano, sa system. It's so amazing po na from skincare business, it changes your life for the moment. Yes. We learn a lot about what they do and their business from our interview with them. These businesses are extremely important nowadays. Skincare products have become an essential part of this generation's lifestyle. And owner and distributor simply made it easier for us to purchase these products. We would like to thank Ms. Mercy Batancila and Ms. Reza May Demante for agreeing to an interview. Always remember that business has improved people's life through mass production and distribution of goods. That concludes your vlog for today. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in our next vlog.